Hello Bobcats, it's lesson time again. Haven't got much time this week, so I'm just gonna do the saxophone solo from The Changing of the Guards. Had a cold as well, so I'm not really into singing. So this is why you get this little lesson. Should only take 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do cap on the fifth fret, because that's how I played it. And it sounds nice like that. And the chords are just C, G and F. And we'll be doing our usual finger picking pattern with the thumb. So the thumb is just going either from the fifth string to the fourth string if we're in the key of C, chord of C, or the sixth and the fourth for the G and the F. So I'll just go through those chords quickly. We've got C, G, F, C, G, easy. Uh, as always with the thumb I'm hitting a bit harder when I'm playing the fourth string because that kind of gives it that, that bounce. <coughs> so that's all there is to it chord wise. So for the melody we'll start without any chords because I think that's how it starts. Before we get to the C chord. So we can start with a little finger on the second string third fret. And then play the first string open and first finger on the first string first fret then back to the second string with the little finger still there and then we go to the C chord with the thumb on the fifth string and the first string open string with the thumb then just before we get to the G chord we play this little finger still on the second string third fret play that on its own and then go to the G chord play the sixth and the second string together then the fourth string and then before we get to the F chord we do the same play the second string but on the first fret and then with the sixth string Fourth string on its own. So um, second string, sixth and second string, and then fourth. So from the G, so second, sixth and second, fourth, second, sixth and second, fourth. I'll try and put that in with the with the starting bit. do that starting riff but over the F chord so we've got our little finger comes onto the second string third fret and then we do the sixth and second string first string open then move the first finger onto the first string first fret and do the fourth and first string together so then the second string with the little finger still on it C chord, fifth and first strings. So I'll do that whole thing slowly. Hopefully, you can see what's going on. <laughs> Not like that. Last time we do that F, we go So 
So left hand's pretty simple, we're just moving that little finger on and off. So that happens after we've done the six, the four with the thumb. Then we play the second string at the third fret with the little finger. Six and first string. The first string's open at that point. Then the second string again. Then we take the little finger off and play the fourth and the second together. string on its own and then back to the C. So let's try that slowly. And for the C you're doing the fifth and the second. And then for that C I like to go to the C sus4 I think it's called. Doing the same four, so five, four, five, four, so five, four, three. And then five and two together. Try the whole thing uh, very slow and see if you can play along to that. Do one more time at full speed. Cool. Hopefully you can get something out of that and maybe you can work out the rest of the song yourself from that. If you get the chords off Dylan Chords, that amazing Bob Dylan Chords website. If not, I'll come back in a few weeks and finish off the rest of the song. Thanks for watching. See you later.